source of all power My need in my darkest hour My Lord Your light and love all I see Nothing more I'd ever want of me My Lord My Lord Protect me from this me faith to be stronger among Wiping the face after dua. Wiping the face after dua. There's no Sahih hadith that the Prophet would wipe his face after making dua. Now it's a very common practice among the Muslims that they must raise their hand after the obligatory salah or even the voluntary. And keep in mind that there's no authentic narration, not about the, not about the faridah or the nafila, that ever the Prophet ﷺ raised his hands and made dua. The sunnah is that you make dua without raising the hands. But raising the hands is an innovation in of itself. Then to add to that, to wipe your face with it, or some people, you know, they rub first or they blow. All this is not from the Sunnah Adi. This is another Sufi based bid'ah which has no basis in the Sunnah. You are the source of all mercy, infinite light for all to see. My Lord, some claim to represent you. Everything they do is so far away from you. My Lord. Help us to know you better Help us love one another If someone is in wudu and touches the Quran, it is preferable, it is mustahab, it's not a fard. Those scholars differ. There's no verse in the Quran or hadith which says that wudu is compulsory for touching the Quran, wudu is compulsory for offering salah. يواني قلبي لكن معي ربي إلهي رحمن أنت نور الأمان I know some doors you may close but this is how life's story goes you are my guide the source of light my Lord my Lord Treatment from Quran and Sunnah that. As far as Taweez is concerned, there is no verse in the Quran or Hadith talking about Taweez. This is totally wrong. We Muslims don't believe, we should not believe in Taweez. We have to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Islam, there is no place for Taweez. It's un Islamic. It, is, it has got no mention in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Hope that answers the question. My Lord, my Lord.
بڑا شرک ہے یا نہیں میں اس کے بارے میں بیان کر چکا ہوں کہ میرے نزدیک تعویز اب گنڈا کس بلا کا نام ہے میں نہیں جانتا میں جو بات کر رہا ہوں وہ صرف تعویز کی کر رہا ہوں تعویز شرک نہیں ہے اصلا اگر اس میں کوئی چیز شرکیہ استعمال نہ ہوئی کوئی سورہ اخلاص لکھ کر اگر یہاں پر باندھ لیتا ہے اس میں شرک کی کون سی بات ہو And this person start, establishes a movement that he calls a Salafi movement. And what was his menhaj? The Muslims have gone astray because they follow in methods and all kind of stuff. We need to forget all that stuff and we need to go back to the Quran and Sunnah. But see, check how these guys think with the intellect. Because if you take away the method, you take away the chain. Because if you say, okay, we're going to go Quran and Sunnah. And I'm the leader, so I'm going to tell you what the Quran and Sunnah is by my intellect. Then, see, I take the I, I take the whole Hadith, and I tell you what it means, and I ignore 1,400 years of scholarship. And so that's what they meant by the so-called Salafi Dawah. That's the first time in history the Salaf never called themselves Salaf. The first three generations never called themselves Salaf. Nobody for 1,400 the Caliph never called himself Salaf. They didn't even call himself Khalifi. That The first person who did that was Muhammad Abdul. And that was his Dawah. And this is why we have to be careful because even when the Salafi movement spread in this country, <laughs>